In this video, we look at some of the different signals commonly seen in electronics. First, let's think about a battery. This produces a constant voltage, which does not change over time, and we can plot this on a time domain graph as shown below. Of course, over a very long period, the battery will run out and the voltage will drop. A voltage like this, which doesn't change with time, is called a direct current, or DC. Now let's look at signals which do vary with time. We've already seen some of these. For example, the signal produced by a generator. This wave changes over time, and because it repeats itself over and over again, it's called periodic. And because it alternates between negative and positive, it's also called alternating current or AC. The other system we looked at which varies with time was the signal coming from a microphone. This is a varying signal but it's not periodic like the generator signal we saw above. It's called aperiodic and also it's not really AC because it doesn't alternate between positive and negative. So we're best just calling it a time varying signal. There's one further type of signal which I'd like to mention, and that's one which appears and disappears. And this is called non-continuous, or sometimes discrete. One important class of this signal is a digital signal, which is either plus five volts representing a one when the signal is present, or zero volts representing a zero when it's not. I'd like now to consider some of the important parameters which we use to describe signals. And to do this, I'll use a sine wave as an example, as shown in the diagram below. The highest value above zero which a signal attains is called the peak value or amplitude. As an example, the peak value of the UK mains supply is 324 volts. The maximum variation from positive to negative of the signal is sometimes called the peak to peak value. And for the mains, this is twice the amplitude or peak value, so it is 648 volts. For many waves, it's possible to calculate an average value of the signal. However, this is of little significance for many signals. A value which is of much more significance is called the root mean square or RMS value. This is the equivalent DC value for an AC signal. To illustrate what this means, consider an electric fire supplied by a battery. What value of AC supply would cause the fire to emit the same amount of heat as the DC battery? This is what the RMS tells us. For a sine wave, the RMS value is given by 0 0.707 times the peak value. And for the AC mains, this is 230 volts. And so that is the origin of the 230 volts AC mains that you normally hear about in the UK. Now that we've considered some aspects of the size of a signal, let's consider those involving time. For a periodic wave, like a sine wave. The time taken for the wave to repeat itself is called the period. For example, the period of the UK mains supply is 0 0.02 seconds or 20 milliseconds. The wave will repeat itself after this period of time. One over the period of a signal is the frequency in hertz. So if a wave repeats itself, for example, once a second, then it has a frequency of one hertz. If it repeated itself every half second, then it would have a frequency of two hertz. The number of hertz is therefore the number of times per second that the signal repeats itself. So a signal of 1000 hertz, also called one kilohertz, repeats itself a thousand times per second. The frequency of the UK mains is 50 hertz, and so it repeats itself 50 times a second. Obviously, however, this 
frequency only applies to periodic signals and not ones which are random or don't repeat themselves.